to do the Josanias, what I call the cosmic cloud, you need an airbrush. You can use a straw and blow it, blow it around with the straw, but that is way too much trouble. The Josanya paint comes with a little bottle of what's called Flow Aid, and it's a clear liquid. And so you're taking the paint out of a tube, and it doesn't take but just a little, little, little dab of it. <clears throat> you put I put use these little glass bowls. I use I put my paint in the glass bowl, <clears throat> and I put the Flow Aid on there, and I start mixing it till it's all mixed in really good, and it's watery. <clears throat> Then all you want to do is start with one color and just go around randomly and put little dots, little drips here, here around. Just do them randomly all around. And take an airbrush using no more than 30 PSI and just hit those little bubbles or those little droplets that you put on there and just blow them around. And blow them around till you finish one color, you go to the next color, the next color, and the next color. When I did the top piece it, up here, that one became a surprise to me. That, that one is the best cosmic cloud that I have done in that center. And how I did it, I got my paint really watery. I had used uh, alcohol dye, uh, turquoise I think it was, and just did a real light coat with alcohol dye just to cover it. And it wasn't even at all, looked really kind of ugly. <clears throat> but. I used it like it was. I poured my paint right in the middle. I made a puddle about the size of a quarter right in the middle of it. Then using that 30 PSI, I went straight into it and just started dragging it up the sides. Drag it all the way up to the top and stop. Go back in. Just kept going. I just kept doing that in and out all directions. Just straight down, straight up the sides. And I just kept doing that till all the paint was stuck. And I couldn't blow any more paint. Then I add the second color and the third color. And that's what gave me that effect for that one. That looks more like a cosmic cloud to me than this other. This looks more like a floral pattern. That was dye, not paint. That's, yeah, that's the Josanya paint. Dyed it first. Yeah, I dyed it first. Yeah, yeah I used alcohol dye just for that background, that real light blue, blue greenish color. <clears throat> find the paint. <laughs> They're right in front of me. You can buy these as a kit with uh, six colors. And it's called Josanya Specialty Color Set. Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon. Yeah, otherwise, not. Not long ago, it's, I think within the year, you were, or had to order them from the UK. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're made over there. The one product that comes in the kit is the Flow Aid. This is the second bottle of Flow Aid. And I've got another one open that I've been using out of. If I poured those two together, I'd have one full bottle. So I've already gone through one full bottle, and there's still a lot of paint left in these. No, no, it is not like that at all. The ratio? Just dilute it and make it wet. No, flow troll will not work. And this stuff, when it first comes out of the tube, you really can't see much color to it. I don't have my glasses on. This one is the... This is green iridescent. So if you've got, if you've got, you're using four different colors, and you mix each of them, each one of them in a little cup, and you set them out there, you're going to be looking at which colors which. Mm -hmm. 
It's beginning to show a little bit green. Mm -hmm. Or you can you can put more. And all I want to do is tease it. See those white edges? Mm -hmm. That's where it's still really wet, not drying. Yeah, you can you can push it like that little bit of there's some thick paint right there. I want to take that all the way down off the side. Then you would just mix up another color, put the next color right over the top of it. Not turquoise. Blue would work. But I think it needs red. And want gold. There's the red. But these are fun to do. I'll have four, five, six pieces when I get ready to do this. And then I mix up the paint and I go from one to the next and one to the next. These are all iridescent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all iridescent. Now, I did find at Hobby Lobby, or not at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's, an iridescent paint in a tube. And... I think it's the same thing. It works just as well. I just they only had three colors to pick from. What color is that? Red. That. See how bright red that is? <laughs> wow. It's getting redder by the minute. It's showing up red on there. It's starting to come out red. As you're blowing that, you're actually helping it to dry. So I will show you something. This little edge that I have in there, mm -hmm. that little dent there, as the paint flows over that, 
I'd blow it back out of there just as quick as I can. I don't want it to sit there any time at all. As soon as it flows over into that margin, I blow it out of there and it blows right out. And if you get a little, you can see on this, there's a couple of places where the paint dried just a little bit, so there's a little bit of color on that outside rim. Oh, there is right there on the green. I didn't catch that and get it wiped off. And I didn't get it blown out of that edge soon enough so it has color showing in there where it's not supposed to. <coughs> and the white lines there are just dividers. That's all they are. Actually, on a, on a piece like this, this outside rim, that should be in at least another 3 sixteenths of an inch. It should be in farther so that outside rim is wider. This one is fine up here, but that, that black rim going around should have been much wider. It's more aesthetically pleasing that way. Gold might look nice on that. Is that going to be your next pick? The gold? That was it, yeah. Oh, okay. After it's dried? In other words, you, you want to, after that dries, you look at it and say, geez, I wish I could put some gold on there. Can I? Oh, sure, yeah. After, yeah, you just, you can stack your colors on there however you want to stack them on. After it just let it dry and mm -hmm. later change your mind and get some. I got you. But really, on the surface, it's drying so fast. That gold will make a difference. That gold is too thick. Too thick and too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can just keep stacking the colors up on there however you want to. Say again. Oh, yeah. Um, like those up there, I put lacquer on there. And you put six or seven coats of lacquer on top of there. You put one coat, one coat of lacquer gloss on there and the colors pop just a little bit. You stack three more coats up on top of that and the colors pop out even more. It, lacquer. I'm I'm putting that on top of lacquer. Okay. The colors are going on top of lacquer. Yes. That. Yeah. It's painted black with black lacquer. I back sanded that a little bit with two thousand. And then I got the um, clear lacquer and sprayed it sprayed over that with clear lacquer. Over the over the paint. Mm-hmm. Over the paint. As a final coat, I'll put seven coats of lacquer on top of it. Okay. 
get that gold toned down. I didn't make, get much paint mixed up that time. This one going on now is turquoise. This is the iridescent that I bought at uh, Michael's and it's called the Artist Loft. And I did look on eBay or, or Amazon sometime later and they have a wide selection of colors. Just for some reason or other at Michael's they just had very few of them. No, there, there's no solvent in town. Okay. That's got to come out of the UK. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually, it's made by Liquitex. It's made by Liquitex, so you should be able to find it at a paint store. But I've called every store in the Metroplex and cannot find it. Mm. You got it on Amazon? Mm-hmm. That is silver. <coughs> and that silver over the top of it just added a whole new dimension to it. And I got that a little bit runny. Not quite as runny as I wanted it. But and it doesn't flow quite like the Josonia paint does. It flows just a little bit different. But that's how you can do the Jos uh, Cosmic Clouds. I recommend that <coughs> you, you create your bowl first. And you want to have it sanded down very fine. You want to put your accents. You don't have to put the accents on it. And you don't really finish the inside of the bowl. Because the first thing you're going to do is paint the whole thing solid black. And once you've got it sanded, once you've got it painted black, you can fine sand it with 1,200 or 2,000. Put another coat of black on it, sand that down real smooth. Put lacquer on top of it. rattle can and sometimes if I don't get too lazy I'll get the I'll get the airbrush out and I'll just use uh, acrylic and spray it with the acrylic it does get a finer but once you've got this solid black you'll take it back on the lathe you're going to keep your mortise on the back <coughs> but then you're going to cut that ring in you know cut that one that one and then you're going to clean the black out of the inside of your bowl. Now you can go ahead and finish the inside of the bowl. 
because once you've got that black and you've created your accent rings, you're ready to put apply the Josanya paints to it. On the inside of this one, I did color that with uh, alcohol dye, and I think it was turquoise. And I just did a light coat on there and wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And then I got the Josanias out, and I made it real watery. I poured a puddle in there, and I just kept blowing it out, blowing it up the sides from all directions, 380-degree angles all the way around till it just wasn't flowing anymore. And that's how I got that effect in there which I think is much more reminiscent of a cosmic cloud than the rest of it. That didn't come out too bad. <clears throat> Doing the cosmic clouds I just I just picked it up from watching uh, from seeing Gary Lowe's posts on on the web and uh, communicated with him a number of times on messenger about what he was doing, how he was doing it, got some details from him. And then I bought the little discs at uh, Hobby Lobby. They're fairly cheap, it's just a little wooden disc. I got the wooden disc and I started practicing with them and doing different things. And then when I got in Dirty Pour, I used a whole bunch of them. There's a lot of these things floating around somewhere. <clears throat> Gary Lowe, he's in Ireland. And, uh, Both of them, has he put new content out? Pardon? Is he, have you noticed that he's put new stuff out on YouTube? It seemed like... Yeah, he, he does frequently. He kind of goes in cycles where he's putting a lot out and then gets back. And sometimes sometimes he just makes bowls. He, he doesn't always create with color and, and get into doing other things. Sometimes he just makes bowls for income. Like some like like Mike Mahoney and some of those just make bowl, 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 bowl all the time. He's not that big of a bowl maker. He's more of an artist in the wood. But um, he sells his cosmic clouds for around fifteen hundred dollars each. He has there's in a studio somewhere, I think it possibly is in England, and the cosmic cloud like like that big bowl is selling for two thousand. All this stuff's a lot of fun. It, you know, your, your imagination is the only thing that holds you back from, from doing stuff. And sometimes you just have to get an idea, something that you've seen, and go home and try to create it. Just like when we, when we see a bowl, um, recently saw at our, at our club meeting the uh, poly, polygam bowls and how to create those. Well, you watch, if, actually if you see one and you break it down as what is actually being done, you can see how to do it. And it's the same thing with art. I started and fell in love with art in the seventh grade. Uh, <clears throat> took art all the way through high school. I started off in college as an art major. I did a three foot by three foot canvas as a string pull, as a flower garden working from the center out. And during Christmas break, there was an art show that where students were invited to put their things in and come and show. So I took it up there, and there was a lady there that was just, she was just gaga for it. She had to have it. Had no idea. And hamburgers, mind you, at that time were a quarter. I said $150, and she bought it. So I thought money grew on trees. <laughs> it didn't last very long, though. No. So, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do these little canvases. I'm going to do those. Uh, my, I tell you, my grandchildren were at the house before Christmas, and they both did a dirty pour. And one of them came out very, very similar to that one. And we did it on the square canvas, and they gave it to their mother for Christmas. And she was thrilled to death. Now I've got the neighbor kids across the street doing dirty pours. <laughs> And they want to paint everything in the house. <laughs> they, they have no limitations as to what should be painted. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had an awful lot of fun doing this, and I just I just keep finding find new and different and.
this little piece here, I'll take it home and I'll refine the colors on it and do a little more to it. And it can be a lid for a Beads of Courage box. In fact, my idea for doing a Beads of Courage box for one is to use that for a lid, put a little uh, knob on the top of there, put the Beads of Courage button on that, and then create the little bowl and do the same thing around the entire bowl. I've yet to see a Beads of Courage box, anything similar to that, but there will be one coming soon. What you're doing, you <coughs> say a bowl like that, would you just kind of put your hand in it and start, put the drops on there, spray them, and then turn it? You're talking about doing the outside or inside? Outside of, of it. Outside. I'm just going to hold it upside down. To, to do the outside of the bowl, I'm going to put my droplet here. I may do two or three up there, and I'm going to blow that, and then I'm going to turn it okay, and do it. And just work it around one color at a time, then yeah. just keep adding the colors. Yeah, that was a dirty pour that kind of came out as it was one of those accidents like that almost did, where too much of the paint poured out. And so I got a lot of, a lot of muddiness in the paint, but it's... To me, it gave it more of a primitive look. I've seen tons of pieces of um, pottery done almost almost exactly like that, of, of that same pattern. And that's how they do some of their pottery. They, they put their, their glaze on there, and then they just start pouring. They just pour it on, let it flow down, and that's the way it's fired. Do the same thing with paint. Put some lacquer on it. It's nice. Stain the inside a color that kind of complements the outside, and it's done. Oh. Do you have a preferred wood? Dry wood. <laughs> yeah, dry wood. 